Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and probably the first of an installment that we're going to call the Grab Bag, the Trippy Food Grab Bag. Uh, I'm joined once again by O.K. Tamek. And uh, O.K., how many uh, how many episodes have you been in now? Uh, just one. It's been quite a while. We need to fix that. I know. So we need to get you ramped up. So, yeah. so um, O.K. and I, we kind of procured, well, things that I guess from a Western standpoint would be unusual. We just kind of combed the aisles on uh, ethnic groceries and saw what we could uh, we could put together and what we could find, and, uh, and this is what we came up with. So we're gonna try a little bit of everything here. And and, and you brought this to, to cleanse our palate in between, right? Yeah, on the way over here, I stopped by John's Market, which is a uh, an incredible beer store um, that we have here in Portland. Um, and they had this just random Belgian ale, and uh, decided to bring that along. All right. Yeah. So let's let let's uh, pour some of that so that we have that handy, so that that's going to be our, our palate cleanser in between. It's actually good. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's, let's start with our uh, bird's nest white fungus drink, and uh, I have a plethora of uh, shot glasses. <laughs> yeah. So we have Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, London. Representing today. Very nice. <clears throat> Neither one of which um, make a bird's nest white kind of drink. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, well, that's pretty. Does you see that lumpy stuff Ooh, in I there? Think, I There's think kind it of is lump. A, <clears throat> I think it is a shake first kind of thing. Well, we did. Yeah, it's almost uh, gelatinous, like. Nice. Like a, <clears throat> a gelatin. I'll put a little bit more in here just so you don't think I'm, I'm stepping in. Cheers. Cheers. It's not bad. No. No, it's not. It's very sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of grass jelly. But I guess that's the fungus. Oh, it's not a bad drink. Yeah, it's really not bad. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Mm. Okay. White fungus, bird's nest, or what is it? Bird's nest white fungus drink. All right. So uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, I'd have the rest of that. I agree. Thumbs up. All right, so now let's try the uh, maple water, and this could be uh, this could be anticlimactic. We'll see. As long as we can get it open. Ooh, that opened. Once I got that seal off, that the top part just opened up really easy. But uh, at least I know we're not being poisoned because there's a seal on the inside. No, that's good. Reassuring. <clears throat> I'm guessing this should smell like pancake syrup. And it doesn't. It doesn't smell like anything. I know. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Alright, what are we uh, what are we working here? Disneyland, Disneyland. and um, South Dakota. So here we go. <clears throat> Disneyland and South Dakota. Maple water. Well, it looks like water. It smells like water too. It does smell like water. Alright, let's try this. Cheers. We should have gone in reverse order. That's really weak. Because you can barely taste this. Well, that's why I'm wondering if they, <clears throat> instead of like cooking down sap and watering down sap mm -hmm. and everything, they just like put maple leaves in some water or something. I mean, it tastes woody. It tastes mapley. It's good. It's really good. I would. I would. It's definitely... only a hint. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna give that one like a thumbs in the middle. It doesn't suck, but it's not amazing. Either. I don't know how do you feel. It's good enough. So it gets a thumbs up from you? Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, now let's uh, let's become insectivores, and we're going to start with the larvettes. We'll start with these little Mexican spice mealworms. And uh, uh, these were a gift for us from uh, Jeff Porter, who's one of our subscribers. So thank you, Jeff. I think. We'll see. We are. Are you nervous about this? No. It can't be worse than earthworm jerky. Well, like, no, it's not. This is, like I said, this is really entry-level <laughs> stuff here. Cheers. Cheers. They're just really light and airy. It's not like if you think you're going to eat insects and they're going to have like some kind of guts in it or even even yeah. chew or something on the inside. You know, it's it's just like an like you're eating a light exos exoskeleton and not much else. It's got like um flavor and a texture a little bit like um half pop popcorn, except it's obviously way easier to chew. It's like a bowl of popcorn kernels. But not the inside of the kernels, just like the, you know, the shell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. it's like eating the shells of popped kernels of corn. That's so, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Uh, thumbs up. I'm gonna get these yeah. a thumbs up. 
don't want them crawling up. All right, yeah, that gives who, a thumbs who, up for who me. Who gave these to you? Um, Jeff Porter. Jeff, thanks, Jeff. That was delicious. And uh, now the crickets, which are roasted crickets. Oh, they don't give you much, do they? Hmm. Hopefully, it's not expensive. To find crickets. It looks like they're delegged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely much more personal than eating a worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, sorry. Those are crispy. They're crispier. There's a lot more to it. Mm hmm. You can actually taste the inside of the cricket. They have kind of like a leafy taste, like if you were toasting leaves. I don't know if they, I can't say that I've actually eaten a toasted leaf, but I imagine it's, it's kind of that same oh, toasted leafy texture. Yeah. And just kind of brittle. Just kind of falls apart. Mm hmm Are you getting the right. bacon and bacon and cheese flavor? No, no. Mm -mm. When when it when it kind of pulverizes and it's in your mouth, you actually get the flavor of the cricket, which is nice. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's not not anything. It's not obviously bacon and cheese to me. Mm. Is it to you? <clears throat> no, but this is probably before we do the sprouts. We should probably yeah. Let's try this stuff out. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna let you do the uh, the honors with the sprats, <clears throat> and tell me what you need here. I guess um, use these butter. Need <clears throat> we have something butter? to fork these guys out. Ah. Okay. So All right. Um, so fork. Great. Um, let's get some butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are strong. I can smell them. Oh yeah. Super, super oily. I don't know what kind of oil they put them in. Maybe, I think it might be like rapeseed oil. And they're also smoked. Oh. Yeah. Put a little butter on this one as well. This is. Are they generally that small? Um, these are pretty small ones. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get them in a can, the can's usually about that big, and uh, they're just kind of laying down. They're the yeah, yeah, and they're quite a bit bigger. I mean, they're. These are two inches, maybe? I'm, I'm sure you'll say that they're four inches even when you're only two. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of insecure about these. So, that's kind of the you one that I like down to do. You kind of mash them down a little bit. You have cojones, so I'm going to give you two. Um, I can have Because, yeah the, yeah, the more fish, the better. They have like a sardine smell. Uh, I think they are actually in the sardine family. Um, we broke up a family? Uh, we may have, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mom, wherever you are. Okay, so... But yeah, this ready? is how you do it. Cheers. Cheers. So, some people like to clean the guts out. I don't. What's the point? Yeah. They're really mild. Oh, and I said they had a strong smell for fish. But also, part of that smell is the smoke. You can actually smell the smoke yeah. in there. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. butter, the butter is like a nice carpet to lay those down on too. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. I think I'm hooked on these. I like them. Thumb is way up for me. Good, good. Um, yeah, th throw some boiled eggs in the mix as well. Yeah. yeah you got yourself a really good, good That's meal. really nice. I like them. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. All right, so Very good point. Should we uh, find some pallets? Yeah. yeah, that is really nice. That's really good. Mm. <clears throat> so even that's even though that's not on our list or our hit parade here, still I'm I'm gonna give that beer a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, for eight bucks. All right, crab that's sausage. Good. Now here's the thing about the sausage. So I don't think it's one of those things that you. <clears throat> Slice and eat. It doesn't look. I mean, this is just plastic. The casing is a plastic. Right. I don't know if you squeeze it out or squeeze. You know, like you eat it like a squeezy <laughs> straw or something. Or maybe we just put it on some bread. What do you What do you think? Uh, let's try all the above. So I'm let's. So this bread, bread here is probably is more basic, so it's not going to have as much flavor as the as that does. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. 
And it might not squeeze, it might have to slice it, I don't know, but we'll see. It's, uh, it's strange how it kind of bows right there where it's coming out of the package, but then it kind of expands right out. Looks pretty rubbery. Yeah, and it's not like it's leaving a bunch of stuff in there, so it's coming out pretty clean. No, oh, you're going heavy on that one. That's yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have two. Yeah, we'll see if this is one of those things that, like, you know, you're watching a movie late at night, you just need a nice snack, and you grab, grab yourself a bowl of crab sausage. Real crab sausage, not fake crab sausage. I might need some more beer before. Before? <laughs> you might need some afterwards. I don't know about the before, but... Uh, well, all right, let's, uh, let's do a quick one. All right, here we go. Crab sausage. All right. Cheers. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Crab. Doesn't smell. I don't have like a strong seafood smell or anything. I have a hard time believing this is real crab. It tastes like weird ass cheese. This is just artificial crab, which I that, think is Pollock. It doesn't have much flavor at all. Hey, the thing says real crab. Something on there. When I read it earlier, hmm. it said real crab. Yeah, it tastes exactly like um, Serini, which is hey, the, the yeah, it tastes like artificial crab, yeah. So okay. It says ingredients, Serini. Bastards! <laughs> All right, so I think it's screw better. you, crab sauce. Well, because you were thinking like, oh my god, this is going to be really nasty, right? Because crab sausage and everything, it's like... I think the fish is, in English, it's called Pollock. It's good. I this like is it. like, like fish cheese. Otherwise, it's similar to like a string cheese. It's remarkably bland. I'm not finding crab And I don't it. like how it's not stringy the way that the artificial crab that I've had before is. It seems like it's been pulverized and then pressed together. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I like that. I'm going to give this a thumbs down, and the reason I'm going to give this a thumbs down is because it's like a bait and switch, right? It's like, uh, here's all these crab, real crab sausage and everything, and you eat it, and it's like, it's serene and it's mop, and it's like bland, and it's cheesy, and, you know, I'm not, I was expecting like, ooh, it's like biting into a crab, and I'm not getting that, not, not at all. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would definitely eat it again, because it's, I mean, it's, good, because it's, there's it's, more. it's okay, but, uh, is it exciting? No, I'd give it a thumbs in the middle. That's it's definitely not a thumbs up. This is the fish sausage that has cheese flavor in it. So this would be interesting. Note the first ingredient on there is Pollock. Well, what so if the first ingredient on this was crab? <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> crab flavored, fish flavored crab. That would be awesome. <laughs> so so uh, how do you want to do this? Do you want to just like like kind of just, just rip, rip it up and, and squeeze, yeah, squeeze rip, it in, squeeze it, it out, right? So yeah. here. I mean, th there's got to be a reason for this thing, right? It doesn't quite work as well as you might think it does, but and there it is. It's like a like a string cheese. It's like right? a banana. Like a mine. Mine didn't. Uh, <laughs> don't wave that thing in my face. It smells like a ooh. <laughs> it smells like a like a urinal cake. <laughs> uh, used or unused? Oh, gross. That is a weird smell. Like a, like a fake cheese smell. Mm-hmm. Here we go. That has more of a texture of serene. I don't like anything about this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like fish tank pudding. Yeah, a, a fish tank with with no more fish living in it because you've polluted the water, water with something. That is disgusting. And the textures. Oh, it's horrible. And whatever cheese they use is still powdery. Yeah. The outside of it is kind of similar to the other one, but inside, oh, chocolate. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, yeah. And then and it, gets, and it sticks in your oh, mouth like that. that's terrible. No, thumbs, way down. Gonna, thumbs, way, the... thumbs way down. Thumbs way the hell down. <laughs> yeah. Badly needed beer. All right, that was a, that's a no. Mm. I bet even the dog wouldn't eat that. Oh my. All right, so this is the, the veal baby bologna, and I bought this in the Russian store. So I don't know if it's Russian because it says made in USA, but I don't know if it's like a Russian yeah. thing or not. But uh, but we'll try. So um, I'm just gonna kind of cut slices and we'll put them on the bread. Yeah, this, this should be great. And uh, you wanna open some German mustard? Yeah. The Germans and the Russians working together once again. Yeah. It's never never a good union. 
It's That's interesting. Too. It's very pale. Oh, well, it's veal. Yeah, that yeah, would make sense. You know what I was thinking on this is, you ever have fried bologna for breakfast? Uh, yeah. So this would make good fried bologna because like those big slices of bologna, you have to kind of cut that little hole in the middle so when it bubbles up, it, you know, it, it flattens it out and everything. And these would be perfect because I don't think these would bubble up. Mm -hmm. that, that might just be me. Although I think it would probably taste worse fried than... I have a feeling this is going to be good. It's going to be a well-deserved piece of veal. I like to think so. And uh, do a little dab of mustard. You want to spread that? I'll just flip it over. Just get it on the bread. A little, little sandwich out of that. All right. All right. So uh, American veal bologna, baby bologna from a Russian food store with German with mustard. German mustard. Mmm. It's not like a beef bologna at all. It's like a brat, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of similar to those very, those long sausages that you can get, the long wieners. I was thinking it's almost it's almost like potted meat, except obviously potted meat's usually pork, and this is veal. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very good. Hmm. I think I like that better than it's delicious. Bologna. Yeah, I'd say it's really similar to. Like I said, those wieners that you can get at like a German store, mm -hmm. long wieners. Yeah. Except it doesn't have a casing. Right. That uh, deserves some beer. <clears throat> You're running low there. <clears throat> Top yourself off there. Okay, so now we're ready for dessert. You want to do the um, uh, yeah? You want to do the honey mint cookies first, or you want to do the uh, chocolate first? Let's do the. Well, it's not chocolate. You'll find out. Oh, um, it's a uh, cow. It's like a milk thing. Yeah, let's let's do this. Okay. Let's do this first. So I believe these are both the same. Kind of look like a bit of honey. Get it, all looks, this, uh, uh, it looks it looks looks spongy, but it's uh, but it's actually kind of hard. Oh, it crumbles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a really unique texture. It's got like a well, it's got like texture of Favored by raw honey, and that kind of hardens. Mm -hmm. It's similar texture to that. There's a um, there's a Colombian um, mm. there's a Colombian thing that wow, um, good these are. it's a, a guava paste, mm -hmm. and it has the same kind of texture to it. A guava paste. I'm guessing it's like milk and sugar, which is kind of what they use to make mm. caramel, and um, and it's kind of like has a little bit of hint of caramel. Because again, sugar mm -hmm. and milk. Mm -hmm. But um, but I'm not a big fan of caramel, and this is really good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I forgot how good these are. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I haven't had one for probably five years. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give those a thumbs up. I bet I know where to get them. Don't tell these folks where I live. It'll be on the bottom of the screen right there. All right, and so you said you've had these before, and these are- Yes, I have. These Maybe are not the mint ones, but- Honey mint cookies. Mm. Ooh, probably, yes. probably excellent with tea. They have a strange smell. I don't know what they make these things out of. Cheers. But usually you have like tea or coffee with these. They're kind of powdery and light inside. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm getting honey. I'm not. I don't know if I'm getting a lot of mint. Are you? I'm getting a little bit of mint. Exactly. Definitely getting honey. It's like a marzipan texture almost. Mmm. Maybe not. Maybe a little drier. Yeah. A little drier. Yeah, a little drier. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's, it's kind of bready, mm -hmm. which is interesting for a cookie. Do you like, like it? it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the mint. The mint comes in afterwards, and then you get like that, that minty mouth yeah. kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like these. Thumbs way up. Yep. All right. So now we're, uh, we're, we're at the after dinner beverage section of the show. And uh, mm. let's see, you get Medellin, Colombia. And this one's from Madrid. Nice. So first we're gonna try the uh, baiju, yeah. which for all, you know, sakes and purposes, this should be relatively benign stuff. I mean, other than the fact that it's 45% ABV, which is, wow, which is powerful. 
Um, but some of the stuff that you can get in China is way more powerful than that. I mean, yeah, clear. 80, it's not 80%. Uh, but it's it's not quite clear. Ooh, it look. Um, you can tell it's got some color to it. Oh yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is not actually normal for the baijus that I've had. Um, oftentimes it's, it's, a it's clear. Dirty. Um, oftentimes it's clear. This is yellow. It smells like the medicine that my kung fu teacher used to rub on his arms. Holy crap, that has a burn to it. But it's smooth. It's pretty smooth. It though, is smooth. Right? I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm gonna say that it kind of reminds me of aguardiente. It has that It has that burn, but it has a sweetness to it too. Yeah. Yeah, it really does burn the tongue. Yeah. But it's surprisingly smooth for it how- It is. It is. How it really intense is. that burn is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's a nice little social drink. Yeah. Very medicinal is, is the kind of the word that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. um, I have a feeling that's going to be very medicinal. Oh, this is a very surprising drink. I think we should. Um, oh, yeah. Clean. Yeah. So, uh, so this guy thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I'd say it's a thumbs up. Yeah, I think it's a thumbs up too. I think it's that, not a. It's not like a. I would never like pour a awesome. glass of, I would never pour a glass of that and drink it. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. So yeah. now the penis wine. Yeah, the penis wine. And uh, the penis wine will be drunk out of Tampa, Florida and Lake Tahoe. Smell that. I was gonna say it doesn't smell penisy, but I don't really have a you know, good point of reference. Oh, come on. That's not, that doesn't have as strong a smell as the, uh, as the other. And that's a nice little murky brown there. A nice penis brown. <laughs> but it's but it almost it it almost has kind of an aroma like um like a sherry or something. If you do that, someone's kind of actually you're gonna suck it into your nose. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. So it's like yeah, right. monster. Here's your penis. It's fruity. It's fruity and medicinal. Taste or smell? Smell. It has a fruity taste too. It catches you off guard. But I was expecting that to be like really, <clears throat> really kind of funky and off. You know, like any time you soak meat in a, any kind of alcoholic beverage and then you drink the, the beverage afterwards. I guess that's kind what of like, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this isn't bad. This is, I... No, it's not bad. It's a little it's syrupy. Not my, it's... it's a little syrupy, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I don't like about it. Is that it's, it's a little syrupy it, without being like, well, because the Jägermeister is a little bit syrupy too. Yeah. Right? But I... I kind of like Jägermeister. But and if you I were to tell- it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have like the, the bitter herbal no. nature that, that I think can counter that. And it's just kind of a sickly sweet. It's not offensive. It's kind of like, it's kind of, it's a weird little drink. It's a weird little drink. I'm gonna give it kind of a thumbs up in the middle, right? Cause it's not like, it's not like hardcore penis in your mouth kind of like, oh my God, what the hell is this? And at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, they're hiding something, right? It's like, yeah. it's like they're hiding something. It's like, what is that sweet stuff? It can't, what is be, that? it can't be this benign tasting. No. We're having three different kind of penis in it. I would think so, unless they yeah. just dip the penis in or something, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a thumbs in the middle. I think thumbs in the middle kind of trending down. Yeah. The more I have it, probably the more I'm gonna dislike it. From the food stuff, what do you think was your favorite? <clears throat> what are you gonna rank higher? Oh, I mean the sprats, but that's kind of boring for me. Well, maybe boring, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high in the sprats as well. The the the, the fish and and uh, crab sausages kind of were a blowout. That's what's, what's second this, for you? What's second? <clears throat> second would be the insects. Which insect? Uh, I think the mealworms because they had more substance to them. Mm -hmm. You know, they had more substance and more flavor to them. No, the crickets weren't bad. So the, the crickets would be like a close three, but then these these guys are like way down hell. Yeah, wow. yeah. See, I think I'd like the crickets actually a little bit better. But the sprats definitely my favorite. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and as far as these guys, uh, maple water and the bird's nest uh, white fungus, I'm gonna go with the white the bird's nest white fungus on top uh, because it had more unique flavor. The the maple water was kind of like. Lacking taste, and you would think something it was added a little beige, maple. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, I think I'm gonna put that one on the bottom, and I think I, I, the the bird's nest uh, 
uh, white fungus drink was was actually pretty damn good. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as far as the desserts go, I don't know that I can really pick a top one. They're both good in both different ways, and, and, and I don't really see like a clear you know, winner and a clear loser on those. And then the af after dinner drinks, um, I'm going to have to go with this guy, number one. The penis wine, just like I, I just feel like oh, it's yeah. hiding something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree. And I, it's like, I feel they, like they do the, something to it, and and they're they're not being honest with us. It's like a novelty, you know. It's a, it's like oh yeah, well we're drinking penis wine. All in all, I think it was a, it was a nice run uh, from our grab bag. Yeah, I think we I think we, yeah, we covered a, a broad spectrum, and I think it uh, it turned out really well. So uh, we'll do another one soon, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.